Eyes in the sky were once a fantasy and a way to see everything, from hidden corners to distant lands. Now, those dreams are a reality. Commercial satellites orbit our planet, delivering live video so sharp you can practically see the driver's face in a speeding car. Cities overflow with life, and vast landscapes evolve in breathtaking clarity. But what if those eyes in the sky aren't just watching the world? What if they're watching you? The line between public and classified technology is blurring. Every day, the capabilities of spy agencies grow more powerful and more pervasive. Facial recognition software, AI-powered analysis, and the ability to track your every move. Are we living in an open society or are we sleepwalking into a surveillance state? Where does observation end and intrusion begin? All right, let's talk spy satellites. We are interested in what these satellites can see. The details are way cooler than any sci-fi movie. It's fascinating, combining secrecy with incredible technology. We all know these satellites are up there, but what they can really do is something most of us can only imagine. It's mind-blowing. The space race wasn't just about scientific exploration. There's a huge military component, especially for spying. Early spy planes like the U-2, nicknamed the Dragon Lady, were constantly at risk. They could get shot down, needed a ton of maintenance, and their range was limited. Satellites offered a solution. Satellites operate in space beyond the reach of most conventional weapons. This makes them virtually immune to being shot down, ensuring the continuity of intelligence gathering. Satellites can maintain constant surveillance over areas of interest, providing real-time or near-real-time intelligence. Today, commercial satellites can take videos with one meter resolution showing cars moving in real time. That's a massive leap. It gives us a glimpse into what the classified programs might be capable of. Speaking of glimpses, remember that time a photo was accidentally revealed? Experts believe it was from a US spy satellite. They estimated the resolution to be at least 10 centimeters, clear enough to see branches on trees and the colors of people's clothing. It makes you wonder about programs like Keyhole. Keyhole 12 is rumored to have a mirror as large as the Hubble Space Telescope. Imagine the scientific discoveries if we had a dozen Hubbles pointed at space instead of Earth. It highlights our priorities and where we choose to allocate resources. What about synthetic aperture radar? This tech uses radar pulses, not light, to see through clouds and operate at night. It's like X-ray vision from space. It can simulate a much larger mirror than it physically has, allowing for detailed imaging, even in challenging conditions. With SAR, we can think about constant stare, having enough satellites to watch any point on Earth continuously. The US seems to be moving in that direction, with plans to expand its satellite fleet. The constant watch has its appeal for security reasons, but the privacy implications are uneasy. Continuous surveillance from space is powerful with potential for misuse. We need to consider that. The potential benefits of this technology are huge. Environmental monitoring, disaster response, security, and intelligence gathering. However, the ethical considerations surrounding constant stare and its impact on privacy are significant. There's also the logistical challenge of handling all that data. The U.S. Space Force would need to grow significantly to manage the influx of information from a constant space network. It's not just about launching satellites. It's about processing, analyzing, and making sense of the data. Then, there's data access and responsible use adding another layer of complexity, which brings us to using AI to detect tiny ships in infrared images. The article entitled, Multi-Level Trans Unit for Space-Based Infrared. Tiny Ship Detection highlights a system called Empty Unit, which was developed in China. Ships are super hard to spot. They're small, dim, and easily mistaken for clouds. Traditional methods need help locating ships. That's where artificial intelligence comes in. Empty Unit combines convolutional neural networks with a vision transformer. CNNs pick out fine details, while the vision transformer analyzes the whole picture. 
understanding relationships between objects. This allows it to tell the difference between a ship and a bird, even in complex scenes. It's not just about seeing anymore. It's about teaching AI to understand which points to a bigger trend. The growing use of AI in interpreting satellite data has the potential to revolutionize all kinds of fields, from predicting traffic congestion to monitoring deforestation, potentially even tracking military movements. The applications seem limitless, but so do the questions about misuse and increased surveillance. Dr. Anya Sharma is an AI researcher who tracks climate change's impact. One day, she observed a red alert flash across her screen. The AI had detected illegal logging. Dr. Sharma swiftly alerted authorities, providing the location and evidence to stop the destruction. She knew AI's power was a double-edged sword, but remained optimistic. Used responsibly, AI could empower humanity to make informed decisions, protect our planet, and build a more sustainable future. As the satellite orbited, Dr. Sharma felt hope. The eyes in the sky, now intelligent, weren't just watching. They were helping us understand, heal, and safeguard our world for generations to come. It feels like we're entering a new era of spy satellites, where the focus is shifting from observing to understanding. This opens up incredible possibilities, but raises serious concerns. We've gone from blurry photos to AI-powered analysis in just a few decades. It's amazing. What will the next few decades bring? It's hard to imagine, but it's going to be even more mind-blowing than what we have now. We've been focusing on U.S. spy satellites, but many other countries have developed their capabilities, such as Russia, China, France, Israel, India, and the list goes on. As technology becomes more accessible, even more countries will join. It's a global phenomenon. Imagine a world where every major country can monitor its rivals from space. The potential for misunderstandings and heightened tensions is significant. It's like a high-stakes poker game where everyone can see each other's cards, but no one knows what anyone else is thinking. Is this transparency good or bad? Some argue it could lead to greater stability, as countries are less likely to take aggressive actions if they're being watched. But others say it could increase paranoia and distrust, making diplomacy and conflict resolution more challenging. It's complicated, with no easy answers. Speaking of advancing, what about space-based space surveillance? It's using satellites to track other satellites, spying on the spies. The U.S. has a program, the Space-Based Space Surveillance System, which does exactly that. It's a combination of protecting our assets and gathering intel on other countries' space programs. So satellites are watching other satellites that are watching us. It's a surveillance loop. Knowing where other countries' satellites are and what they can do is crucial for national security. It helps us understand their capabilities and intentions. But our satellites are vulnerable to collisions, attacks, and malfunctions. Being able to track their movements and identify problems early is critical for maintaining our space infrastructure. Space is becoming crowded with thousands of satellites and debris from old missions. It's a growing concern. We've covered a lot. The history of spy satellites, the types of information they gather, and the potential for good and bad applications. Let's zoom in. What are the main categories of spy satellites? Generally, we can break them down into three types. Imaging and tracking, orbital, early warning, and signals intelligence. Think of it as a super advanced Google Earth with the ability to zoom in and track movements. Orbital early warning satellites watch for missile launches, acting like a tripwire for global security. They have advanced sensors that can detect the heat signatures of a launch, providing early warning, which is critical for global stability and deterring aggression. Signal intelligence is the most bizarre. These satellites intercept and analyze communications, from radio transmissions to satellite signals that can range from monitoring traffic to potentially decrypting communications. Decrypting encrypted communications is incredibly difficult, but even without accessing content, 
Signals intelligence can tell us a lot about who's communicating with whom, when, and how often, which is valuable for understanding relationships, tracking patterns, and predicting future actions. Signal intelligence isn't just about spying on other countries. It can monitor criminal activity, track terrorist organizations, and even gather information during disaster relief efforts. It has dual use potential. The same tools used for espionage can also save lives. It's a fascinating ethical landscape. It feels like we're entering a new era of surveillance. Spy satellites are becoming more accessible, with more players entering the game, like smaller nations and private companies. It's not just about national security anymore. It's about individual privacy, transparency, and accountability. It's overwhelming to think anyone could be watched from space. A crucial first step is understanding the technology. The more people know, the better equipped they'll be to advocate for responsible use and demand transparency. We need open discussions about the benefits and risks pushing for regulations on how this technology and its data are used. We need to demystify spy satellites, understand their potential, and have a real dialogue about shaping their future to benefit humanity. This conversation needs to include everyone, not just experts and policymakers, but the public too. Where do you see spy satellite technology heading? It's hard to say for certain, given how classified these programs are, but we can speculate we're seeing incredible leaps in resolution. Imagine seeing real-time video feeds with crystal clear detail from any point on Earth. That's amazing, but scary. What does that mean for privacy? It's a valid concern and we need to be proactive. As technology advances, so must the conversation about ethical implications. We need safeguards to protect individual privacy and ensure responsible use. Beyond resolution, AI is driving advancements. It has the potential to completely change how we use satellite data, allowing us to extract information and identify patterns in new ways. Imagine systems that can predict traffic, monitor deforestation, or even track troop movements with incredible accuracy. The possibilities are amazing but so is the potential for misuse. This technology can solve problems, but it could also be used in harmful ways. We've covered a lot, from Cold War spy programs to AI-powered analysis. The future of spy satellites is tied to big questions about privacy, security, and responsible technology use. The choices we make today will have a lasting impact. For someone feeling overwhelmed, the key takeaway is this. This technology is here to stay and evolving rapidly. Spy satellites aren't just for superpowers anymore. They're becoming more accessible, which means we all need to be informed and engaged in shaping how this technology is used. It's about taking control of the conversation, moving beyond fear and secrecy, and demanding transparency and accountability. We need to demystify these things, understand their potential, and engage in a dialogue about how to make them work for all of us. We're at the beginning of a new era in space, and spy satellites are at the forefront. The future is unfolding above us, and it's up to all of us to ensure it's a future we can be proud of. The future of privacy is in our hands. Watch these videos next to learn more about how satellites shape our world. The eyes in the sky are open, and they're not going away. What happens next is up to us. We're all in this together. Let's start a conversation about the future we want to create. Thanks for watching.